Well, good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Uh, today, a little bit different type of video, doing this from my downstairs, my living room. And today, uh, this is going to be a longer video. I hope you guys are ready for a little show and tell. And today, I want to showcase uh, my leather jacket collection. Now, uh, I've been reviewing and collecting leather jackets for quite some time now. And you guys know on this channel, I share all kinds of different products. Uh, I collect watches, I collect cologne, I collect a lot of different things. But leather jackets is just one of those things that I am addicted to. I'm a leather jacket slut. I mean, I cannot stand uh, seeing one I want and not being able to buy it or not buying it. And the cool thing about leather nowadays, back in the day, and I'm going to show you guys, so just sit tight. It's going to be a long video. Uh, believe it or not, I'm probably going to have to edit two clips together. <laughs> Whoa, watch out, editing. Um, and so... I'm going to show you guys some Wilson leather jackets, show you guys, I'm going to tell you guys about the size, again, my size, my height, my weight, so you get an idea what it might look like on you, and just these different brands, hopefully I can remember, I will put links in the description of each one by order uh, of presentation here, um, just so you guys know, if you want to make a purchase, you can do it through the link, and as always guys, email addresses in the description of every video, drop me a comment, I'm always here to help. So, starting right off the bat, uh, this is the first one I want to share with you guys, because I already had it on. Uh, and so this is by a company called Rolipel. It's R-O-L-I-P-E-L. They're an eBay seller. I'm not sure if they sell on other platforms, but this is a very rare jacket. Uh, you know, and again, remember guys, we all have different styles. We all have different tastes. I'm a flashy guy. I, I am not musically inclined, but I feel like I should have been a rock star, right? I mean, I just absolutely love leather and I love animal prints. And, you know, I'm just flamboyant. I'm out there like that, right? And so uh, we are who we are, but I love alligator and crocodile kind of skins. Uh, now, you can't, to the best of my knowledge, get authentic. I think there are obviously, you know, rules and regulations for that. Um, I have found a few different uh, sellers on Etsy, every now and then eBay, for uh, licensed, uh, uh, authorized animal skins. But you're going to pay a lot of money for anything exotic. Uh, and then there's always the question... People have, and I don't want to, you know, if you're not a person who, uh, you know, for you people out there who are against, you know, animal killing and uh, skins, I mean, just click the X and move on. You're not going to change my opinion about leather. Uh, am I, you know, an advocate for treating animals right? I mean, no, uh, I, I, but I do believe in treating animals fairly. Uh, we live in a world that we eat meat, and that meat gets killed. You know, those animals get killed to feed us. Uh, so, again... I just want to state that if you are the kind of person who is against animal products, uh, again, this isn't your video. I do have a couple vegan jackets here, uh, but let's face it, everything we buy, there's a cost to everything. There is a, uh, something gets hurt for everything produced for the most part. And so, again, I want this to be a fun video. I don't want this to be a video where people are up in arms over leather. Uh, it's, it's available. I'm going to buy it. You know, I like it. I eat meat. I eat, you know, fish. I'm not a hunter. I don't believe in killing animals. Um, I just don't want to do it. So take that for what it is. Maybe it's hypocritical, but uh, it is what it is. We're a lot like that. A lot of people eat meat. And so if you are a vegetarian and you don't eat meat, you don't kill animals, you don't wear leather, uh, props to you. I think that's fantastic. It's just not for me. So uh, anyway, starting off with this one here. This is an embossed goat skin. This is from Rollapel. Uh, this is done to make it look like it's actually alligator or crocodile. Uh, and let me tell you guys, there's not many people or companies making stuff like this. Um, I looked for years before, before I found a company who makes a jacket that looks like this for this price. Guys, the price in this, $350 to $400. It's incredible. Now, I got a crazy deal on this. And it wasn't for a sponsored you know, video. It wasn't for anything like that. It was just they happened to have a deal. It was $250, and I got it. And it is incredible, guys. Uh, you're not going to find embossed leather for under $1,000 normally. Uh, so, again, link is in the description. They just came out with a brand new bronze edition like this. I'm going to reach out. hope I can collaborate with them because uh, it's a killer look. Uh, but anyway, this is, you know, the roll pell jacket. If you like it, <coughs> excuse me, in a Brando cut, which is what this is, a Brando style jacket, uh, kind of like your L.A. Police motorcycle Terminator style jacket. Uh, I love this style of jacket. Uh, I think you guys are going to love this. So uh, let's move on. So 
Now, if you do order this coat, I will say as far as sizing, I weigh about 179 pounds, about five foot seven. Uh, every jacket's cut a little different. My only regret with this was not going with a small uh, because this jacket does not have anything but a, a polyester insulation. It's basically um, not much to it. It's more like a spring jacket. Very light. There might be a, a layer of polyester in there, if at all. Uh, very light jacket. Not really meant to be super warm. Leather has a certain quality of being able to keep you warm anyway, but um, because of that, having that extra fill, it's a little bit, I won't say loose. It still fits. It looks good. It doesn't look too big or anything like that, but for me personally, I like my jackets very tight. Uh, small would be much better. So uh, next jacket I get from them will be small. So let's move on here. Again, I warned you guys, it's going to be a long video. So, you know, I'm not just going to throw these on the floor here, right? So next jacket I want to share with you guys today is a really affordable leather jacket. This is done in a uh, lambskin, a very affordable lambskin. And this is by, the company is called Decimal. Now this is sold by all kinds of sellers. And this one here I got for about 80 bucks, but I got a discount because it came with a defect. So this is just your standard bright red, uh, you know, you like Michael Jackson, this is different. It's not like his jacket with cheese graters on the on the shoulders, but uh, Brando style jacket, slightly different, it has some Michelin Man arms on it. Uh, again, super lightweight. This jacket fits me a little better. This is closer to a small. Again, still a medium, but fits me closer to a small. Um, this jacket to me fits great. So this is obviously done in red, leather, lambskin, super soft, um, very inexpensive. This jacket definitely had more of a barnyard gamey odor when I got it. I've had it now for probably about six months. Uh, to me, it just smells like leather. It doesn't have that kind of odor anymore. Uh, super, super pimp. I mean, red is pretty loud. I will say, I will urge you, if you're looking to get a, ja a red leather jacket, uh, look into maroon. I think the maroon, the wine colors are really nice and they're subtle. This is very loud. So I know when I wear this, people are going to stare at me. Uh, this is an attention getter. So if you're looking for attention, definitely check this out. You have dual zippers on this particular style. Uh, again, a Brando jacket, but uh, kind of their own rendition of a Brando jacket. Uh, zippers on the sleeves. And when I say Michelin Man, that's what I call it. You have kind of this cross stitching down the forearm, up the shoulders. You have your epaulettes. Uh, two zippers, so you can really get this pretty snug. Or if you have a big, big bowl of pasta, or, or a big hamburger, or you know, if you're like me, a giant pizza, uh, you can basically just go ahead and use the outer zipper. Um, only downside to these: traditionally, men's jackets zip from the left. Uh, the zipper is generally on the is that right on the right with men's jackets. Uh, other countries are different. A lot of these come from other countries. So just to let you guys know, if you do get a leather jacket, most of the ones that I've purchased online from, and they, most of them come from other countries, again, the zipper is always on the opposite side. It's not a female jacket. It's just how other countries work. Uh, you kind of have to get used to zipping it the opposite way. I always kind of have to tuck the collar a little bit. And brand new jackets look good open as well, but just to give you guys an example here, Again, this is a pretty cheap jacket. I mean, there are going to be differences in the way that they stitch it. You can tell it wrinkles a little on top when you zip this up. Uh, the button, you know, normally if you zip a jacket like this with a proper high-quality jacket, this, when you button this, this would be closer to here where you don't have that wrinkle. Uh, they have the button too far over, so you do get a little bit, and you can leave it unbuttoned. It's not a big deal, but you do have a little bit of wrinkle. I, I don't think it looks bad. Uh, you have a little bit of this cross-stitching, what I like to call... Um, like this, uh, what do you call it, like a diamond print or diamond stitching. It's really called quilting um, on the sides. A little bit more of that Michelin Man up the back. Uh, pretty nice looking jacket. And again, I got this, this was under 50 bucks. Uh, mind you, you're gonna pay, I think it was, if I remember correctly, and I'm sorry, I don't have the exact price. It was around 69, 70 bucks. Um, the only problem, the inside interior had a rip in it. So I basically just stitched that. It's as good as new, but the seller was nice enough to uh, take care of me and give me a little bit of a discount on it. So, uh, pretty nice looking coat. I mean, <laughs> I mean, and they make it in black too, which I probably will get. Uh, I don't like to use the word beater, but uh, it's nice to have a jacket you don't care as much about. You know, throw it in the car or whatever. Uh, I generally take care of all my things, but I will get a black one like this as well. What I like about it, it's cheap, it's affordable, uh, it's nice quality, decent quality, and it's super thin. So a little bit thicker than the Rollapel leather. You have a little bit more insulation, but still pretty thin. 
nice summertime, nice uh, spring lightweight jacket. Uh, and again, like I said, it's nice enough that I want to get another one in black. So, uh, not bad, right? All right, so moving on, guys. Let's see here. So next jacket I want to share with you guys today is, this is my most recent purchase. Uh, this has become one of my top five favorite jackets. Everything about it is perfect. The price, the cut, uh, it is fantastic. And this is from an Amazon seller. Again, link in the description. Um, oh, this one actually lines up. This is, uh, or matches up. Sometimes the jackets don't match the seller name. This is from Laverapel. L-A-V-E-R-A-P-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. They make this in yellow. Uh, distressed brown, gray, black, you name it. They got a color for it. Um, super, 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 super quality fit. Uh, this is awesome. This is how I like a jacket to fit. Now, this is a small, so I'm glad I ordered this size. I'm going to show you another jacket in a medium uh, that I don't like. As, as much because it doesn't fit me as tight, but this is absolutely fantastic. Again, 179, about a, you know, five foot seven. Uh, the length is perfect. Doesn't it's I like a jacket that's nice and high, just right at the top of my butt cheeks. Some of the other ones come down a little lower. Uh, generally, I think this back on this is about a 24, 25 inch length. Again, they're all cut a little different. It doesn't really matter. You know, sometimes you'll, like I said, you get a small. If it's like a medium, sometimes you get a medium. If it's like a small, and sometimes a large. One thing I think just Again, everybody likes something different, but I just think a jacket looks better if it's snug. So this, for my size, you can see, and I'm, you know, for a guy my weight, I'm a little, a little tight in the back there. Uh, I've always had a little bit larger back, a little, little bit bigger latch, as they say, right? And don't, don't make fun of me. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm just saying, it just jackets fit me a little tighter in the back. So this fits great. I love them when they come nice and snug into the armpits. Uh, you can still zip it, you know, and I usually. You know, my goal weight is 160, but even at 179, uh, you can see, you know, it's still just a great fit. Uh, pockets are functional. Some of the other jackets, the pockets are too far back. Uh, sometimes they're too high. Uh, these are functional pockets. Uh, this is really an all-around fantastic coat. What I love about this is you have that diamond quilting right down the chest. You have the Michelin Man going down the side, around the shoulders and the, and the traps. You have a smaller... Um, you know, diamond diamond print or diamond stitch or quilting, and you have that theme carried around the back. Um, a lot going on in this jacket. I absolutely love it. And this is one that, you know, I hope they keep continue to sell. This is one I've been eyeballing by other eBay sellers, and this is the only seller you're going to find this from on Amazon. Uh, and so, guys, they have light gray, white. Um, this jacket, I probably would have probably would have got several of these uh, over a couple of the other ones I've purchased over the years, just because it's just the perfect fitting jacket for my body. I love the way this looks. So definitely check this out. Laverapel, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, just a killer, killer jacket. And cameras are rebooting for some weird reason. So probably, probably a software or firmware update. All right, so moving on. I want to just keep wearing this, but I got, got to move on, guys, because otherwise this will be a three-hour video. So next jacket here is... This is by the most recent company I've been working with. I'm hoping they said they got another jacket in the mail. Um, hopefully, that hopefully they come through with that. And this is by um, Angel Jackets. So this is another company that <coughs> has their own brand. Uh, you can see it doesn't say their brand; it just says Real Leather. This is Lambskin. Uh, this company, unfortunately, and this kind of bugs me a little bit. Communication is a real pet peeve of mine. I'm very clear when I when I reach out to companies or they reach out to me on my expectations and, and what I request. Um, I ordered a small and they sent a medium. And that's unfortunate because this jacket would have fit like the one I just showed you. Uh, it would have been absolutely perfect. However, this medium does fit a little smaller, so it still looks great. Um, again, angel jackets. This one doesn't, fit, again, fit as tight. But still, again, it's personal preference. You may not like a jacket that tight. It still looks fantastic. Not too long in the back, but you can see a little bit longer than the other coat. Um, you do have uh, two breast pockets right here. You have that cool uh, diamond quilting or diamond stitching across the traps in the larger size. Uh, the rest of the jacket's pretty smooth. A little bit of kind of a layered look around the arms. You do have a cuff button. You can downsize this or upsize this. Great for uh, you Invicta wearers out there. Sometimes that big watch gets kind of hung up on the coat. You can open that up a little bit. Uh, just a great looking coat, and I do love the quality on these. Um, again, I don't think the quality is 
uh, better or worse than any other coat. Definitely better than your $69 red jacket, uh, but still lambskin, feels good. Nice quality jacket, no gamey smell. Um, fantastic. And, and I think the fit's pretty good. You know, I mean, like I said, guys, just for my personal preference, I like everything tight. Uh, so I, you know, I still have a little bit, of, it's still pretty snug in the back. When I zip it up, definitely kind of coat you can wear uh, a big sweater under if you wanted to. Pump, a fo a pump, pumpins are factual. Pockets are functional. Uh, it, it's just a great looking jacket. Uh, the one I did request, and hopefully they hopefully they come through with it, uh, is a the jacket from the movie. Uh, it's a brown leather jacket, very clean, very simple, very dressy uh, from the movie um, John Wick. It's a brown one Keanu Reeves wore. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting that one because it, it's you know he wore the dark blue pants in the movie, uh, kind of similar to these. He wore that jacket, and Keanu Reeves is just cool. I mean, and like I said, anytime you wear leather, you just have a cool appearance. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting that because I don't have a lot of brown. I think you guys are really going to like that. So definitely check out Angel Leathers. Fantastic company. Um, won't be the last jacket I get from them. So the next coat I want to share with you guys here is this one here is another fantastic design. Um, a lot of these, again, a lot of these sellers... A lot of these brands you're gonna find on Amazon or eBay, you, and a lot of companies, Instagram, a lot of these companies are, are kind of using the same jacket. Sometimes they may even come from the same factory, just putting their own branding on it. And this one here is by a company that obviously has no branding in the jacket. Remember guys, links are gonna be in the description for every jacket. Um, this did come from Amazon, and this does come with um, armor. So I took out the armor because it was really uncomfortable. I don't ride again, like I mentioned. Uh, so this is more of like a distressed brown cowhide, uh, not shiny, more of a matte finish, and this is just a great cut. Now I will say this jacket is pretty stiff, and it fits really nice. Um, just I actually forgot I had this joke jacket. Uh, still a great, like I said, a great fit. This one I probably could have went with a small. Uh, only downside, a lot of times these eBay sellers and Amazon sellers, you know, you kind of depending on your body. Sleeves are always something. I, I think for a guy my size, my arms are kind of long. Um, I always feel like the sleeves are too, they're just too long. And so you can see, they kind of hang down a little bit past my palm. Uh, not to the point where it looks like it doesn't fit, but it just would have been nicer to have those a little bit, a little bit shorter. Um, ja the chest size in this is fantastic for a Brando coat. Uh, a little bit tough to zip up. Actually, for me, I have to kind of suck in a little bit. But once you zipped up, this jacket fits fantastic. Nice and short in the waist, which is great. Again, for my personal preference, you have these two cool side buckles, which I think really make this a unique Brando jacket. A lot of Brando jackets you're going to find don't have these side buckles. And I think with this, it's great they put them more towards the front. Uh, some of the other ones I've seen have them more towards the back. Uh, it just gives the jacket a really unique look. Again, most Brando jackets are pretty basic, very very. Um, simple design, you know, just traditional Brando, zippers on the cuffs, uh, not a lot of other stitching or print. This is great. They've integrated, again, uh, this overlapping stitching around the breast and stomach. You have this great distressed brown color, these two, these four buckles right in the front. And I'll tell you, when you guys start looking, you'll have a hard time finding jackets with this buckle. And then, of course, you have that awesome diamond stitching across the back and traps, which I really think just makes the jacket. Um, it, again, these are a little bit long for me. I can zip them up. That helps and prevents them from uh, kind of coming down past my palm. But still, a great fitting coat. I think this jacket was about 160 bucks. Uh, cowhide, again, super thick. Um, this one is a true motorcycle jacket. Like with the armor, you'll be protected. Uh, I took it out because with the armor, it is very snug. Even now, you can see it's very, pretty tight, pretty snug. Uh, just a fantastic, fantastic coat. I mean, it is just awesome. Now, you do have some breast pockets up here, which I think are honestly uh, more functional uh, than the side pockets, which are non-existent. You do have one right in the front here. And I think this jacket also has concealed carry on the inside, but I kind of find it interesting that they have these two pockets up here, which I kind of like, and I find myself just kind of standing like this. It's almost like uh, crossing your arms, but not. Kind of a different spot to put pockets, but very unique, just different. And of course, you can zip those up if you don't like that. Uh, just a sweet coat. I think I'm going to wear this one today. Pretty awesome. 
And when you guys get it, if you get it, uh, you'll feel how, how rough and how uh, just tough the jack is. And I'm sorry guys, I misspoke. This is actually a small. I didn't realize that. Uh, hmm, interesting, I thought I ordered a medium. Well, I'm glad I did. Small is perfect. So, awesome coat. So moving on. Trying not to pile these all up on the floor here. Like I said guys, we're, we got a long video ahead of us here. All right, so this jacket here, I, you guys are going to be blowing up my email over this. This is one of the coolest jackets ever made, in my opinion. If you find this jacket on other websites, um, this jacket is, is one of the most faked jackets on Amazon, eBay, on Instagram. If you see this particular style, this cut, there's only one company who makes this that's legit, and it's Pretender Leathers. Every other jacket you see that looks like this is a fake. Nobody makes this jacket other than Pretender. They're custom made. Oh my God, this is amazing. Made of buffalo leather. And I've never seen a coat this awesome with this much quality. Buffalo leather, I mean top notch, super thick. Um, I've never owned a jacket of this kind of quality. Um, and I've owned pretty expensive, uh, as you see, many jackets. Um, I think if you go spend $1,200 on a jacket that's leather, you are just getting ripped off completely. You're paying for the name. There is no reason to spend that. But with this jacket, you can get this for about $400. Link is in the description. I urge you, of all the videos that I am sharing, or all the jackets I'm sharing with you guys today, this is the nicest one. Uh, this is done in this awesome kind of deep brown with the gold burnt orange stitching. You have all the Pretender logos all over it. Just a jacket unlike any other jacket. You're wearing this, you're probably not going to see anybody else wearing it. Uh, these are hard to get in the United States. They come from uh, uh, Ukraine. They are special order. Uh, I just sold one recently on eBay to a guy in Connecticut. If you see somebody with this jacket, they didn't get it in the United States. Uh, they are awesome. And a lot of people kind of... Pretender Leathers is an amazing leather company. And I'm sorry, but they are the best leather company that I've stumbled onto. Uh, I mean, Icon Jackets, super thick riding jacket, 600 bucks. This jacket blows it out of the water. I mean, and I don't mean to say that as if like when people make the argument, oh, Rolex blows the dick out of the water. I don't mean it like that. I just mean there is a real difference in the quality here. Doesn't make the other jackets low quality, but when you feel this, you're really going to see an insane difference. And I think that really comes down not just to the styling, but uh, the buffalo leather. It's just super heavy, super thick. Um, it's just absolutely killer. So a couple close-ups here. Let me zip this on up here. Um, oh man, these are... I, you know, I, I have all these coats, and I haven't really worn them because it's been summertime and too hot. And I'm just really looking forward to the fall here and winter time uh, because I just get to use and wear all these. Oh my God, this is such a great coat. I mean, everything about this, all the details. Look at the triple buckles on each side. I mean, this jacket is, when I talked to the owner of the company, this jacket, his words were, this jacket is all about bling and flash. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and he's right. I mean, all the zippers, the pockets, the rivets. I mean, absolutely unbelievable quality. Even when you put your hands in the pockets, you could just feel the, the, the quality, the material, the softness. I mean, they really, really knocked it out of the park with this. And the only downside to this jacket, and the only downside to the, I guess, to the company, or not even to the company, but the downside is that this jacket is so awesome that people are starting to fake it. And you're seeing all kinds of companies from India, United Kingdom, uh, Bangladesh, Pakistan, all these different countries are making this jacket. And now they're they're homage jackets, but they're showing you guys the legitimate pretender leathers coat. And what you get is not this jacket. It's not going to look anything like this jacket. Now you may not know the difference because you may not have stumbled upon this. You might have seen this jacket and be like, oh man, I get that for $150. You're not getting this jacket. You're getting pigskin. You're getting cowhide. Nothing wrong with those things. Obviously, you guys see I like those materials, but you're just not getting this jacket. And I can tell you that when you add one of these to your collection, that you will agree with me that there is nothing else like it on the market. It is incredible. So Pretender Leathers, check it out. Um, I believe in this company so much that if you guys want to order and you guys want to just, you know, because it is a little bit scary giving foreign dollars over to some company in Ukraine, I can assure you that this company is legit. They're, they're looking to take care of their customer. They're not going to do you wrong. 
I would only urge that you make sure you follow their instructions and I'll help you along the way uh, with the measurements and urge you that you double check those measurements and make sure I would err on the side of caution on ordering something like this and go a little bit smaller because I feel like they tend to make the jackets a little bit bigger. Now me, I could use this a little bit tighter to be honest with you. Uh, just a snud. The, the remake on these is almost perfect but like the back I like to see this just a little bit shorter, but overall they, they knocked it out of the park, they did a fantastic job. <clears throat> and this jacket, if you could find this, if these were for sale retail in the United States, you'd be paying $1,500 for this coat. I mean, the quality is there to warrant that price. And there's not many jackets that I've experienced where I could say that. I, I, I mean, it's unbelievable. Oh, man. Alright, so... Uh, if I didn't pump you up about this jacket enough, I want to show you guys this jacket again in a in the black with white stitching. And I mean, I was so pumped when the company reached out, or I reached out to them around Christmas time, and they got back to me and they said, "Yep, we want to send you a couple jackets." I I was happy with one, but sending me two, it's great because I can. I can re-review these and showcase these jackets over and over again, and I really hope in the future I can work with them again on uh, on some other, because they have so many cool coats. I'm actually working with them. We've talked about, this is called the Stormbringer jacket. I forgot to mention that. Uh, just the name is bitching. Uh, Stormbringer jacket. Um, we're talking about doing a Stormbringer 2, and so uh, I'll have a little bit of input in that, hopefully, if they want to work with me uh, you know, on this. Uh, we did talk about a couple design aspects. You guys know I love the cross-stitching or the, uh, the what do they call it? The quilting, um, I'd like to see that integrate into the coat. So uh, we'll see, guys. So uh, let me show you guys the black one here. And the black one, if you like this, the black one is just as killer. Now, they do also make it in a distressed blue, which, I mean, you know, is nice as well. Uh, but this, the black, you know what? You know, if you don't have a lot of coats, most people are going to probably choose a black, you know? Oh, man. And so this one here... What I love about this one here is they actually, I feel like this one here just, I feel like the sleeves are a little bit shorter, but overall the coat is just a little bit, let me zip it on up here. Oh man, I actually love this coat. Oh man, talk about badass. So, and this is what I mean about the sizes. So this one here, there is a slight difference in the size. Uh, they knocked it out of the park the sleeve length. I feel like the sleeve length is a little bit shorter, but the jacket is a little bit more snug, which is the only downside, or, or, or looser, but uh, still still a great fit. You can see the white really showcases all the different pockets and the different, um, st all the stitches. I mean, just look at this coat. And guys, I mean, again, you will not find anything like this anywhere. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. And again, the price incredible. I mean, guys, four hundred dollars for a coat is nothing. For I mean, a, I'm telling you, for a jacket of this caliber, four hundred dollars is like giving it away. I mean, it's unbelievable. I got my pocket here. Oh, some more receipts. <laughs> Pretty awesome, man. I mean, I just I can't express to you guys how amazing this jacket is. I'm just speechless. <laughs> you know, again, I I I, uh, I have all these things, and I haven't. You know, they've been sitting in the closet for months, and uh, oh man, it is just yeah. I'm just I'm getting teary eyed. All right, so you saw the Stormbringer, unbelievable. Uh, my when I was talking to them, I was like, man, we need to do this in a white with black stitching. But I guess with their tanning process or their available leathers, that's not an option. But. Uh, still amazing. All right, so another amazing jacket. Uh, this is similar to the brown one. This is by a company called uh, Infinity Infinity Leathers, but I think the seller I, I got it from used a different name. This coat fits me amazing. And this, again, is a... This one is actually a medium, and this one here just fits me perfect. This is the problem you know, we're going to line sometimes is that a medium sometimes fits great and a medium sometimes not so much. So this one here is a great fit. Um, not quite as tight as the first one I showed you where I said the fit is perfect, but I mean, just nice and snug. Again, you have those two buckles, um, traditional Brando style jacket. 
Got the stitching on the shoulders and the back of the traps. Uh, that cool basket, not basket weave, I don't know why I have a problem remembering that. Uh, the, uh, anyway, I just, I'm losing it here. I think I need more coffee or something. Um, diamond stitching, diamond print, whatever you want to call it, uh, it is just freaking awesome. And this one here, when I originally ordered this coat, I got it in the gray, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. And I liked it so much, you got to have one in black. Uh, just an amazing jacket, man. I mean, it just... Now this one here, if you like pockets, only downside again, uh, you don't really have a lot of options here. You have the breast pockets up high, like the other jacket, but in this coat, uh, they're almost not functional. They're so far back, I can't even get my hands in them. So uh, if you are a guy who likes to have a jacket with some pockets, uh, somewhere, somewhere to put your hands, this is not the coat for you. Uh, there is just no option here when it comes to the pockets. Uh, so even, I mean, if you're going to use these, it's difficult to get anything in there. The only pocket that has any function is this front pocket here. Uh, but, you know, who cares? It looks awesome. All right, so moving on, guys. Moving on. Where are we at here? Where are we at? Half an hour already? Oh, my God. Half an hour already. All right, so moving on to the next coat here. We got, I'm going to show you guys, I may not be able to do a whole piece, I don't know, this is, this is pretty incredible. Alright, so this jacket's got me a lot of questions. This is by Milwaukee Leathers. If you've looked at coats at all on eBay or Amazon, especially eBay, you've probably seen Milwaukee. Uh, this one is amazing. Uh, this one fits great. The price on this was like 120 bucks. Uh, traditional Brando style jacket, cow high. Uh, you guys, you know, there's again a lot of sellers selling stuff through Amazon links, a lot of YouTube influencers, a lot of Amazon influencers telling you you have to spend 400. Of, and again, when I say 400 for Pretender, that's a different story. With everything else in this closet I'm showing you, it's 100 to 180 bucks. You do not have to spend 400. Remember, some of these companies are so well marketed that they could charge double what everybody else is charging. Uh, and so I'm telling you guys, uh, the quality on these is amazing. Uh, cowhide, super thick. This one does have a zip-out liner. Um, I went with the medium in this coat, so with the zip-out liner, if it's perfect, uh, probably could have went with a small, but I think it would have been really tight. Uh, this jacket is like, this jacket I probably wore more than any of them. It's just like my go-to Brando jacket. Uh, it's just tough, it's rough. It is just a great coat. And you can see what I mentioned earlier uh, about it being a traditional Brando, Whereas the other coats I've shown you, like the black one, uh, like the Pretender jacket, it's like a, it's like a modernized Brando jacket. It's not traditional. It's got extra design aspects, like the stitching, like the Michelin Man, like the uh, like the diamond diamond stitching. This one here is just traditional LA biker style jacket, right? Side pockets are functional. Waistband. This pocket right here, you'll see on all these coats. Zip out lining, which is great. I mean, you can wear it in the uh, <clears throat> slightly warmer weather. Epaulets, everything about this is cool. Great aspect on this, what you, that would really separate this particular coat. You won't find this on many jackets. It's gonna be something that's gonna hard, be hard to look for, or hard to find, excuse me, um, is that side stitching. So a lot of them don't have that. That's why I wanted this particular coat. They do have this in a brown by a different company. You guys will have a hard time finding this coat. So remember, if you do like that part of the jacket, which I think really adds a lot to the side. You know, it takes a standard Brando jacket and just gives it a little extra, a little extra coolness, I think. Um, definitely be on, the, uh, be on the lookout for this. You won't find that in a lot of coats. So uh, just, something to, just something to consider if you do like that look. That's the main reason I went with this particular Brando jacket. You can find Brando jackets everywhere. Air Brand the Brother makes a traditional style jacket just like this without any of the pockets or any of that other crazy stuff I showed you. Um, you can find them. But if you want something a little bit more unique with this lace on the side, um, definitely look into Milwaukee leather. So guys, over time, I'll try to put more pictures up on Instagram. Uh, link is on the channel, of course. Link is in the description of our video where you can see a little bit more, I guess, better pictures. 
you know, guys, I do what I can with the lighting. I do what I can in my home. I have a lot of lights on right now. I don't have any professional filming equipment. This is really informal. Uh, that's how I like to run the channel. You know, I don't want to spend thousand dollars on a camera. Uh, my Canon works. You guys get the idea. But I will take some pictures where you can see what these look like uh, outside some better light. Right now, I do have some angel jacket pictures on my Instagram account and uh, pretend they're leather. So check it out. So, all right, moving on, guys. Moving on. And guys, I'm getting a little sweaty, so bear with me here if I kind of lose my train of thought over here when I'm talking to you. All right, so this is a mo one of my more recent ones. This one here is uh, from, again, <laughs> Real Leather. <clears throat> I don't know the seller's name. It was from eBay. This one here definitely has more of a gamey smell. Another jacket I should have went with the, with the small. Uh, medium still looks good, but this is a combination suede and cowhide. And I think it's a very dressy looking coat. Um, I was almost going to send it back. And I tried it on with some darker jeans. I was like, you know what? That is really super dressy. Uh, pretty cool. You have that diamond stitching with the leather going all the way down the sleeves. You have leather around the collars um, right over to the front here. And then you have a combination, obviously, as you can see, this suede. Uh, again, the only thing is with it is this one definitely would have been a lot nicer in the small. Uh, medium still fits. It still looks good. Uh, but small would have fit me a lot nicer. But still great. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you traditional Brando style here. See, I like it a little more snug in the waist. But it's because this jacket's so thin. Remember, when you go with jackets that have no lining in them for the most part, uh, they fit a little looser. But you can see it doesn't look bad by any means. Uh, still fits in the back. It's still a little snugger on the back. Um, I just think the small would have been a little nicer, but still an amazing coat. I couldn't send it back. This was about a hundred bucks. Uh, just really a cool look. I love how they've done kind of this two-tone black and this kind of like brown distressed look running down the sleeves. It's just very unique. Not bad at all. All right, so moving on, and like I said, like I mentioned, you know, this one, probably due to the suede, has a little bit, again, none of these smells are really off-putting, but you can tell it's a little bit more like barnyardish, horse stable kind of smell um, with that leather. So I think it just depends on, you know, where they get it and their process there. All right, so another badass coat here. So this is a pleather jacket, but I had to get it because it's done in a rattle, in a rattlesnake, sorry, or python style snakeskin. Uh, this one fits great, super snug, super tight. This is a medium, only downside, a little bit longer uh, compared to the other ones. I like it a little bit shorter, but fits great everywhere else. Uh, this one definitely has more of a cotton liner. Um, it's fake, it's not real leather, but you definitely get a really cool look. And this one here can be had for about a hundred bucks. Uh, normally, I wouldn't spend 100 on a fake leather jacket or a vegan leather jacket, but uh, this was so unique. These are the kind of things that if you see them, you don't buy them, you'll probably never find them again. You can get real python. You're going to be getting them from other countries. Uh, they are allowed to send them into the United States. They do provide the paperwork for customs. Uh, they're hard to find. I had the opportunity to buy one for about 700 maybe about two years ago. I didn't buy it. I kind of regret not buying it because it was genuine python in like you know your standard like uh, like like this. This is cobra, but this kind of brown and kind of beige. Uh, very flashy. Maybe someday they'll make them again. Maybe someday I'll be able to get my hands on them. The only downside of that when they're custom making a jacket like that, you run into the whole thing with measurements, and sometimes there's a little bit of a language barrier. Uh, you'd hate to spend that kind of money on something and have it not be. Uh, exactly to size. So uh, this one fits great. Sleeve length is good. Uh, just a really interesting looking coat. Again, traditional Brando style, but done in that faux snakeskin, faux python. Uh, what I like about this too is they've done all the buttons and the hardware they've done in like a black. So pretty neat. A lot of times you see like them silver or gold. Uh, pretty wicked looking coat. They do make this in a white as well. Uh, good luck finding this. I will put links like I always do. If it's available, you'll find it. Um, I, this one's going to be a hard one to find. That's why I got it, because I knew that once this thing was gone, really difficult to get. So, uh, and just for the name, this is done by JC at, at, I think I want to say, Atlier, 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 something like that. 
and they're the only ones making this particular coat. So if you find it, most likely it's from the same guy, J.C. Atlier, um, just badass. All right, so this one is kick-ass, folks. This one here is another uh, Infinity jacket, but they go by Smart Range. It's the same company. This one came from the United Kingdom. Uh, great fit, amazing for uh, again for mediums. These fit nice and snug. Uh, again, if you are looking for something that fits snug, uh, you guys, you, the links are in the description. This is one of these jackets that if you were my size, 170, 179, uh, one, I'd say even 160, you could pull off a medium. I would say if you're 160, depends on where you know where you hold your weight. It's very difficult. I get it all the time. Guys are asking me, hey, what size should I get? It's really difficult for me to tell by you telling me your weight. Um, I can only give you guys my size, my height, my weight, and you can tell by my build. You know, I don't know what my body fat percentage is. It's not ripped. It's not super high either. Uh, most of my weight that I have that I need to lose uh, from years of drinking beer is in the midsection. Um, even when I get down to, I would say, completely lean, ripped body, like, I mean ripped, I'd be about 150. So, uh, an and unhealthy 150, like, to, to sustain that kind of body fat percentage is, is exhausting. So for me, 160 would be optimum, and there probably I'd be you know pretty lean at 160. Um, but it gives you something to think about. And, but all these coats, I feel like 160, you could still wear a medium. Um, you know, it, again, depends on where you lose your weight. For me, most of my weight's in my midsection, so the rest of the coat's gonna fit pretty similar to the way it does now. So for me, with this coat, a small might be a little too tight in the back. Uh, medium's great. So this is done in buffalo, which is fantastic. In a distressed buffalo, uh, we have that combination two-tone black and gray. Uh, every time I wear this, somebody's like, man, bitching coat. Uh, 170 for this coat is one of my favorite jackets. Uh, it is absolutely stunning. And this is hard to find. There's not a lot of guys making this coat. Uh, you may find other jackets in gray. You may find, you know, different jackets in black or brown. But something like this, if I can zip it, <laughs> is just super unique. And again, same pocket problem. Not a jacket you want to wear if you're looking for pockets. But you got the buckles. You got that diamond stitching. I mean, everything about this is just flashy. And this is tough, you know, I, I wasn't planning on doing this video today, and I'm like, yeah, I'll wear that jacket, I'll wear this jacket today, but now it's like, I, I can't make up my mind. So, absolutely stunning, man. Alright, so with that being said, you guys know how much I love this cut. Obviously, this is my uh, fourth, or third variation of this particular jacket. Um, I have it in another color, white. And if you don't have a white jacket, gentlemen, you got to get a white jacket. So, I'm going to share with you guys now two white jackets. Uh, these are absolutely stunning. So same brand, Infinity Men's Leather. Uh, this one is done in cowhide in white. And oh my god, oh man, this is sick. Look at this. Now, I mean, I'm telling you, you wear this, you people are gonna look at you. Like this is flashy. This is not for you guys. This is not the kind of coat you wear if you're just gonna try to rock some little tiny watch. You know, if you want to be, if you want to not be noticed, I didn't come out right. If you want to be noticed, you wear something like this. And white is loud. You know, white is flashy. I mean, so you know, it's not for everybody. And I'm not bragging. I'm not saying anything. But you have to kind of have the personality. You want to rock a white leather jacket, especially this one, because again, you have the buckles, the zippers. It's just a very flashy coat and zipped up. I think Brando jackets look awesome zipped up. I mean, damn. I mean, pick, I mean, I'm wearing just like a navy blue ethanol jean right now, but picture this jacket with like some white jeans. Going all white, man. Oh, man, as Cedric the Entertainer said, you show up all white rocking one of these to the barbecue, man, I'd be eating your barbecue out here like this. I mean, come on now. You can't even. You don't want, you don't want to get any, any barbecue sauce near this. But honestly, guys, that's why I'm saying, like, if you, if you haven't checked out my other video, my organization video on leather jackets, um, I did treat this with a kind of a rain repellent, like a spray, um, which will help to uh, keep dirt off it. You know, white, you got to be a little careful, right? So just kind of keep that in mind with white leather. At least with cowhide, nice thing about it is that it definitely wipes off easier. It cleans easier. Um, next jacket I'm going to show you guys is white lambskin, uh, softer, uh, more of a matte finish 
but it can definitely stain. Like if you were to spill something on this, most likely you're gonna be able to wipe it off. Um, you spill something on the lambskin, not so sure. Definitely something you gotta take even more precaution with. So, but again, the lambskin jacket I'm gonna show you is all over eBay. This one here is harder to find, but the lambskin one, this one here, and you'll feel if you get both lighter weight, but still an amazing coat, super soft, and still a great fit. This style of jacket, this particular Brando one, you can find all over eBay in all kinds of colors. Uh, this one's done with that Michelin man going down the forearm. You have the uh, silver, you know, uh, hardware zippers, functional pockets in the front. Um, they've done that. Um, diamond stitching on the shoulders on this and then Michelin Man the sleeves. This jacket you'll see all over Instagram by different sellers. Uh, some of these guys are charging, um, I can't think of the company's name. And honestly, I don't even want to mention them, but there are companies out there that I've seen all over Instagram, well-known influencers, well-known Instagram models showing these things off. They're selling for $450, and I'm telling you, they're the same jacket. So, uh, zipping this up here, zippers on the right on this here, actual men's style zipper or United States men's. Only downside is coat, they forgot to put the button. So this flap, this uh, collar just kind of flaps around on both sides. So kind of a little bit of a defect there, but not a big deal. I mean, you could have a seamstress uh, put a matching button on that. It doesn't bother me enough to, to worry about it, but pretty awesome looking coat as well. Super, white is super clean, guys. White is fresh, minty, right? Oh man. And I didn't really show you guys, it, with the Brando jackets, the idea in this is that if you want to zip them all the way up, you get kind of this double flap to keep the wind out. And they're traditional biker style jackets is what they are, uh, made famous by Brando, you know, so that's why they call them Brando jackets. So just a great looking coat. Again, this one here, about 120, 130 bucks. Uh, I mean, you really can't go wrong. So, and again, if white's not your thing, black, brown, maroon. Uh, they're everywhere. This one does not have your waist strap. Just to let you guys know. The last, the, the other the last jacket I've showed you, um, the other the jacket I just showed you, the one that style has the buckles, which you could cinch in if you want a little tighter in the waist. This just has that diamond stitching across the bottom. So keep that in mind. If you like the traditional Brando style jacket, those generally have the waist strap. So it just depends. All right, so uh, now, guys, where are we at? Almost an hour, I think. Jeez. So I want to show you guys just a few coats that are, uh, I, I think I'm going to, some of these jackets you're not going to be able to find anymore. So I want to show you just a couple that I got uh, that I'll show you guys this Icon jacket. So Icon still makes leather jackets. They're, they're designed for riding a motorcycle. Their leather is pretty thick on them. Um, when you put something like this on, you can feel how rigid it is. It is very snug. And this one here is a jacket I got when I was younger. Uh, I had a crotch rocket. Uh, more of a jacket you would wear on a motorcycle uh, with all the branding. I mean, this jacket is super loud. Um, it's something I keep for really nostalgia purposes. I don't, I haven't worn this jacket in a really long time just because it's so motorcycle themed. I don't know if I would have got it again because it is so so specific to riding. Uh, you know, you get the skulls all over it, obviously. I mean, I have a matching helmet to this. It's loud. I mean, this is a loud jacket, and a lot of the Icon gear is like that. I have this jacket also in the Motorhead edition, which is like, they, I think they still make, it's just white and black. Uh, this one here, I actually thought about selling this, but I just can't bring it... I, because a lot of times you just don't get your money back for stuff like this. And this jacket was $600 brand new. Uh, it's of great quality, but I just, I'm not going to sell this thing for, you know, 200 bucks. It's just not worth it to me. So I keep it. You never know. Maybe someday I'll get another bike. But I don't know. You know, when I was younger, stuff like this, you know, when all my buddies got bikes. It was The icon thing was really in. It was all about being super flashy. Um, and I, you guys know I still like flashy, but... Uh, you know, the, the whole branding thing was so important with uh, rocking the icon gear, you know. And now I just tend to not really, I kind of stay weird, uh, uh, I steer away from branding. Um, so, I don't know, it is what it is, guys. You know, it's just one for the collection. So, uh, take it for what it is, you know, take it for what it's worth. You know, if you like it, you want to give me 600 for it, I'll sell it to you, but probably not going to sell it. So, and I'm not going to show you the white one on that one there. Um, 
But I am going to show you now a couple traditional style, um, like, mafioso jackets. I'm not really sure what you call them. They're three-quarter inch length. They're almost like pea coats. So this one here is pretty fun. This one I got uh, at the Vegas Mall. Now this is a medium, and this is the only downside to some of these coats because mediums back in the late in the early 2000s, late 90s, tend to fit snugger. So all my coats, for the most part, like this are mediums, and really I just think they're a little they're a little big. You know, I just feel like. And when I was younger, I wore things a little differently. And, and, and in the 90s, even dress clothes, they fit. It was baggier. Everything was baggier. Uh, now, I feel like um, things are a little more fitted. We have skinny jeans. We have more of, a, you know, tapered jeans and th things. And I know other people, I'm not overgeneralizing. People wear things how they wear them. You may wear jackets bigger. But for my tastes, I would prefer this to be a, a nice, snug, small. Um, it'll still get worn. It's still unique. Uh, it still has a time and a place, but I just like the shorter jackets now. Uh, this style, again, it's more part of the collection uh, than it is something I wear a lot. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's just too bad. You know, mediums, just they, they were a lot baggier back then. Uh, and what's crazy is, you know, when I got all these jackets, I was pretty into uh, working out and bodybuilding. And, you know, I was 163 pounds. And so... I was probably a little bigger in the, in the chest and shoulders, but I don't know. So this one here is one of the smaller ones I got. This is an actual small with a pretty thick liner. So this one fits me more of how I like a jacket to fit. So small, as you can see, it's nice and tapered in the waist. You have that three-quarter inch length. Uh, this is the best fitting jacket I have from that era of buying leather jackets. Uh, just a really clean coat. Where it's a dress slacks. I mean, it's just a very dressy jacket. But you can also rock it with jeans, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. And these are the coats, like, you, you can find coats like this, but you're not going to find these from Wilson Leather. Uh, these are all very vintage. Uh, and you can see these, these jackets are 20 years old. They still look great. I've done nothing to them. So it just goes to show you, leather is pretty timeless. Uh, and as long as you don't abuse it, you'll have it for a lifetime. Another pretty cool coat from Wilson. This is by their uh, M. Julian line. Got that gold diamond interior. I mean, pretty slick. Uh, again, a size medium. Wish it was a small. Uh, all these jackets are more of a little bit baggier, a little bit different style, different fit. And again, for a medium, I mean, traditionally, you know, 170, 180 pound guy would be a medium. Uh, and these, you can just see they fit a lot baggier. I mean, if I ever win that $100 million, you know, maybe I'll take it to a professional tailor and have all these, all these fitted. Uh, but you can see they're just, you know, when you're when you're a younger guy wearing big baggy pants and you're rocking a hip hop look, the big baggy jacket looks pretty slick. When you're rocking more fitted jeans, it doesn't really, it's a little bit out of place, you know. But uh, like I said, it's one, it's one for the collection, you know. Still pretty cool. So now, guys, I'm not going to show you all these because I know this video is really, really dragging on. But just to give you an example, this is a vegan leather jacket or fake leather pleather. And a nice, I love the color on this. This is like a maroon. Um, this is from Burlington Coat Factory. Medium. Great color. Um, button cuff. Pretty nice, right? And I think I only paid like 35 bucks for this. And you know, uh, up close, you really can't tell it's not real leather. I mean, it feel it even feels like real leather. I mean, it's a pretty nice jacket. Not bad, right? Just goes to show you guys. I mean, if even if you don't have the budget, you don't have the money to get a real leather jacket, you can get fake leather jackets, and you can still look pretty nice. Because they really do, they've really come a long way, you know. They look they look great. So another one I want to show you guys here is this one here is another Wilson jacket. This is this one was $300 20 years ago. This is a three-quarter inch length uh, belted jacket. 
Uh, this one here is not bad as far as the fit, but again, it's still a little baggy. Medium, but this medium I think fits me a little better than the other mediums. Um, just different style, you know, different time. But again, leather is timeless. You know, vintage leather, they, they, it never really goes out of style. So just still a pretty cool coat. Uh, again, uh, I know I mentioned it 10 times already. Just would have been nice if all these were smalls. To a guy who's probably 200 pounds, he's a fit perfect, you know, but anyway, is what it is. Still pretty cool. Uh, lambskin, again, I, again, this is the reason why I always thought lambskin was more expensive because in Wilson, oh, actually, this is a small, so uh, that explains why it fits a little better, but even a small, like, it's, it's big, you know, but lambskin was always more expensive. Uh, man, it's just nowadays, it's cheaper. It's, it's just amazing, so... Anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to show you guys today. I showed you most of my jackets in my collection. I probably left out maybe maybe ten. Um, this one I got. I got to show you this, guys. One more. One more for the road. So this one I got in high school. This jacket. Uh, how old is this jacket? This jacket's 20, 27 years old, and. It's still, it fits me better than it did in high school. This is pigskin. Uh, this jacket, I remember wearing this in high school. And those shit bags, you know, kids are mean. But they get, they get dealt with, right? Uh, people make fun of this jacket, you know? Well, you know, in my area when I moved here, uh, you know, kids dress like shit. Uh, and, you know, there was no style. I mean, it was like roll out of bed and go to school. You know, where I came from, we, you know, we definitely took a little, you know, we, we took pride in the way we looked. You know, we, we made an effort every single day. So, you know, my high school, I mean, girls look like dudes, a lot of them, not all of them, if you're, hopefully you're not watching this, <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's just, just different. So this jacket, um, I, I, I wore it every day, I love this jacket, but it definitely was one that's really loud, very patriotic, but still an awesome coat, and you know, I'm, I'm still proud that I still got it, like it's pretty awesome. Uh, I think you could still buy this particular jacket, uh, pr pretty cool, definitely, uh, I'd say like, um, uh, very 80s-ish, very vintage, but it's one for the collection, right? So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Thank you for staying with me for almost an hour. Uh, Try to showcase a lot of my jackets. Um, I know I've gotten this request several times by some of my subscribers, and I hope that you enjoyed the video and the content. Again, if you stuck with me through the entire uh, time, thank you. And if I misspoke or said anything incorrectly, uh, I'm getting tired of making this video. So. Um, you know, sometimes it's hard to ramble on for an hour, but anyways, I hope that I provide some information. Remember, a lot of these jackets you can still find, all the new ones I showed you. I'll put links to what is available uh, in the description. I'll even put links. I think you can even still buy this. So if you see something in the video, I'll try to find something of modern age that's comparable. Uh, and let me know if you guys make a purchase or buy anything. I'd love to hear about it. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and take care.